a lot of things that are beyond your or my control because yeah you can vote for a good sheriff a good city council and you may have your vote count counted but as trump pointed out in the debates last month that if he makes a call to somebody in the midnight hour and he gives them money they're going to do what he wants them to do so just because you campaign for candidate x and you have candidate x's uh, collector plates on your mantle at home it doesn't mean if you call them up they're going to do what you need them to do so keep all that in mind as we go forward into the next presidential election also we see that in baltimore they have paid out uh, over six million dollars to the family of freddie gray i think it's great that freddie gray's family got a payment but i also think it's terrible that they take these things out of the city or out of the county i think if they really want to affect change in the police departments they need to take these uh, fines out of the police departments or sheriff's departments themselves and now we see that people are starting to be kicked off the land at Area 51. And for whatever reason, the Air Force says, we want you guys out of here. They offered them what they consider to be their last best offer uh, for the community of $5.2 million. And so far, the people are standing firm and they say they don't want to leave. And hey, that's their home, regardless of how bizarre it may seem to some people for them to live out there. Hey, it's their home. If they choose to stay there, that's their business. And uh, people should be allowed to do what they want to do in that regard. Now stay tuned because coming up later in our show, I'll have an interview with J.D. King. He's an independent filmmaker and he's documenting polar bears and how their disappearance or the plight of the polar bear isn't as dire as some people would like you to believe. Stay tuned. This is the InfoWars Nightly News. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Two defensive backs from San Antonio, Texas's John Jay High School are playing the race card after they attacked Austin, Texas football referee Robert Watts during a game with Marble Falls High School. Dropping back, the two players clearly single Watts out. One player knocks him down, and the second finishes him with a spear helmet hit to the ribs. After the fact, the two players, obviously struggling to save their own skins, implicated John Jay assistant coach Mac Breed as the instigator. Breed has since been placed on administrative leave after allegedly telling the players, this guy needs to pay for cheating us. After being attacked on the field, referee Robert Watts was then attacked off the field. The players allege that Watts had uttered racial slurs towards them, a charge that has infuriated Watts. Watts told TexasHighSchoolFootball.com, I like to keep my officiating quiet. Unfortunately, this will be big news. He then went on to say, Libel and slander have already been committed against me. I will be contacting the appropriate people soon, and any statement from me will come at a later date. All over the country it's happening where a group of black people with their white trendy Soros handlers, college students, show up and show up at restaurants and yell at people and say, raise your hand in solidarity for Brown who was shot in Ferguson or you're a racist and the whites all submit basically and raise their hands under threat. That is pure Soviet behavior. Black Lives Matter protesters target white diners eating brunch. That is our story on DrudgeReport.com in the middle column. Regardless what you think about this, and, and then they say why, you know, every something seconds or every, you know, few minutes somebody gets killed and certain percentage are black. Yeah, and nine out of ten blacks are being killed by blacks. And these Soros-handled groups, their answer is ban guns. I always hear that. You know, the NRA is the new Klan because black people are getting shot in areas where they've banned the guns. 
Nine out of ten blacks that are shot in this country, look it up, are shot by other black people. Racism, the new catchphrase, a whole new generation has now been brainwashed by a politically correct culture to use the word in case of emergency. Um, we have a black president, so racism, poof. There's no denying that the election of President Barack Obama was a huge sign of progress, but it didn't stop anyone from making racist jokes and memes about the first family. Plus, Obama's first term was surrounded by rumors that he wasn't really American and that he was a Kenyan Muslim out to destroy America. Which, by the way, is a bogus conspiracy theory rooted in racism and more specifically, Islamophobia. The twisted reality of the racism claims are that if they are proven absolutely false, the real racists would be the aggressive players themselves. It's it's real simple. Accusing a white person of being a racist without proof is, yeah, you guessed it, racist. Um, a Target shopper had asked Michelle Obama, who was incognito, she was wearing ordinary clothes, trying to look like an ordinary person in this incident that wasn't a photo op. <laughs> so this Target shopper asks Michelle Obama to reach for a product detergent to hand her the product not recognizing who Michelle Obama was, like that would even matter. It was a short woman who couldn't reach the product, so she asked Michelle Obama, being tall as she is, to hand her the product, and Michelle Obama said, that was my interaction, I felt so good. Okay, that was mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, a year later, she gives an interview with People magazine, and let's articulate the context here. The headline of the interview is, the Obamas, how we deal with our own racist experiences. So it's basically Michelle Obama reeling off these examples of how herself and Barack Obama have been stereotyped and had these um, racist implications made against them in these different scenarios. And this kind of racism has now morphed into another form in America. The two players that attacked Watts have since been suspended and pending an investigation may face assault charges. This Texas high school football game could go down as one of the biggest losses in history. Not in points, but in common sense. John Jay lost to Marble Falls anyway, 15 to nine. John Bound for Infowars.com. Dan Bedandi, Infowars.com. I attended yet another public questions forum hosted by the Rhode Island Department of Health on the new mandatory HPV vaccine law. Preceding the forum was a protest led by Rhode Island Center for Freedom and Prosperity in association with Rhode Islanders Against Mandated HPV Vaccinations, a parents group which has attracted over 2,300 members in the last past two weeks. I spoke to the group's leader, Mike Stenhouse, concerned parents and a handful of Rhode Island state reps that are fighting against this overreach of government. We think the uh, mandate was uh, bad public policy. We think it infringes on uh, parental rights. We think it infringes on student and individual rights. Uh, that's one of our missions is to preserve economic, education, individual rights. And the process by which this was implemented, really by one former director of health and human services, without any legitimate public debate, without any legislative oversight, just imagine that one person has the power to, to put this kind of controversial mandate on every family in the state. Um, for one thing, I think parents really need to get together and uh, voice their opinions. Uh, I think that the more collective we are, the more power we have in numbers. I think there's a lot of people that are against this mandate. Yeah, and you think Governor Raimondo is going to do anything about it? Honestly, no. I don't. I think that there's probably, she's probably receiving money from some pharmaceutical company and thus is not going to do anything for us. I think it's a bureaucratic uh, government overreach and it's totally unnecessary and it's taken the, the uh, freedoms away from the citizens of our state. It's been uh, stopped in other states and countries and my, I'm just doing it legislatively to try to, uh, try, to try to address this issue. I believe we own ourselves as individuals. We should be able to do what we want 
No one has the right to put anything in our body or our ch children's body without consent. People are going to be pulling their kids out of school, so people still have a choice. If anything, I would have them pull out of schools already. Mandating in this way is not appropriate. I think it's for each person to decide, but I do feel that there is enough evidence that HPV clears itself well enough that in my personal opinion, it isn't something that I would give to my children because I don't feel that the risk benefit factor is there enough to want the vaccine. I mean as a parent and a grandparent you know the last thing I want is for government to tell me or my 